Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, YouTube world. Well, I didn't really want to make this video. But, I guess this is the price I pay for wanting to be a big time YouTuber, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, if you, if you really want to have a voice, well, you got to use it. And so, tonight, we're not going to be on the silly side of the game. Um, but I am going to just kind of sit here with you. We're going to, I'm going to do 30 minutes. Um, we can, I'm just going to listen to, uh, MSNB, MSNB, MSNBC Live. And, um, just kind of, we can just go through it together. I just said that that's the way I was going to do it tonight. You know what I mean? And just kind of give you my perspective. And obviously I always want you guys to, um, you know, comment, especially on this. I should get some comments on this one. Forget the likes, forget subscribing on this one. I want your thoughts because I'm going to give you mine on what I think we need to do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the news coverage here. I'm going to begin not with the beating, but with how the cops were talking. Um, just crazy. Right after they had beat the man up. Hold on for a second. Let's, I, I got to give it to you like you want it. So let's put some music on there and let's soften this up a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I need this to be softened up. So th I'm, I'm doing it like I got to have it tonight. I got to have it a certain way because this here, it bothers me. It, 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 it genuinely bothers me when this type of thing happens. I've been seeing it for so many years. But let's get on into it. <laughs> put on the uh, news coverage for you now and let me see I'm gonna turn this down a little bit he was going for my gun too that's what we're hearing him say Charles that was the, the cops is talking that Tyree grabbed his gun uh, first of all did you see bit. that in any of the video camera and what it is that we've seen Rachel I want to bring in you, you I'm gonna try and rewind that part because that was important so yeah Charles and it was Rachel like still with us to talk about this Charles hold on wait I gotta get back to that wrong in assuming that protests happening right now in the streets and we're gonna bring in one of our reporters later this hour but Charles Coleman I it's live so it's in here because notably many people have pointed out hard for me to it earlier but this time you're gonna hear them talk hold on wait I think this is it right here Nichols. okay this is it almost bragging but you can hear it for yourself we were running this is it I seen him running, man. We was real proud of running, so I got him right here. He was like, 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 he Charles and Rachel are so in other words they're trying to I didn't think they were bragging I think they're trying to make excuses right you know what I'm saying that's how I see it and you know I mean let me tell you something I've been around guys like that excuse me for eating but I've been around guys like that there, there are guys that have this um this switch that comes on in them. And a lot of times, I think it has something to do with them lifting weights and taking all those um, supplements. You know what I mean? And it clicks, and their manhood goes so out of control if they feel disrespected. You know, um, 
What do I think needs to be done about this? When you listen to their tone, well, then this is like another day at the office. You would never. I'm gonna tell you what I really think needs to be done, but nobody ever wants to listen. But I'm gonna say it anyway. And you know what? I was gonna make this a long video, but I'm not putting this crap in my head. I'm up here looking at this man getting beaten for no reason. But let me tell you what what I I think is the solution. Um. Honestly, the best way I can tell you is to give you an example. Let's imagine you're in your car and you invite a passenger in. Okay? It's a nice car. Oh, uh, you invite him in, him or her, right? After five minutes, the passenger is changing your radio station or has ejected the CD you got in there or linked their little Bluetooth up to your radio and now they're playing their music on there. Be even better example. Five minutes after that, it's 30 degrees outside. They got their window all the way down. Five minutes after that, they grabbed the wheel while you driving. And they won't let go of the wheel. <clears throat> now, how does that relate to us? See, the one thing that black people don't want to admit, and will never admit, for some strange reason, even though it's blaringly obvious. I like to say blaringly, but some people say glaringly. I think it's both. This is not our country. <laughs> this country does not belong to black people. And I don't know how many times they have to prove that to us. Now, you want to ride? Do you want to ride? And the answer has been universally amongst African Americans, yes, we would like that ride. And that person that owns that car, who's the white man, is telling us, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up if you want to ride. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not going to leave you a situation without a solution. I'm the baddest man on YouTube because of this. That is our situation in this America in a nutshell. We are the passenger in somebody else's car. Whether they, whether they bought it, whether they stole it, whatever it is. Because a lot of blacks will say, well, this ain't their country. They took it from... Fuck that. They took that motherfucker's theirs now. Okay? If we want to keep getting that easy ride, then we going to have to shut the fuck up and sit down. Now, what is the solution? It's obvious. Now that I put it in, in the terms of a car, right? In terms of a ride that we're getting, right? What, what, what should we do if we feel like we want to have our own steering wheel? We want to have our own radio and control the windows and everything. Even the direction of the car. What do we have to do? Hello? See, I hope I got smart subscribers. I don't... I know all these other people out here. They got millions and millions of dumb motherfuckers following them. Y'all can go on. Go on and follow somebody else. Okay? Because when I get ready to go live, I ain't gonna have your dumb ass over here fucking shit up and fucking my plan up. What's the obvious answer if we don't want... If we want to grab the wheel and let the seat back and... Right? What do we what do we have to do, guys? We got to get our own what? Mhm. Mm we got to get our own car. Otherwise, we got to follow their rules. Mhm. Mm so, once again, I'm not going to leave you in a situation without a solution. 
I've heard of a place um, where a lot of African Americans go, and um, it's a British colony. I think I believe it's called Antigua. I don't want to say it wrong because I know it's, it's, it's I know it's not that, but it's another place that sounds like that. Anyway, um, we got to start planning. We had our run here. You know what I'm saying? We got a ride. We got a good ride. We got a ride halfway. America, America, even with slavery and everything like that, produced a hellified African American. <laughs> and nobody can deny that. We might have crazy Leroy and Shaniqua out there, but there's some badass African Americans out here. You listening to one right now? Educated, athletic, good looking, funny. Personality, you name it, inquisitive, articulate, you name it. I think Barack Obama showed you how smooth a motherfucker could be under pressure. So, my thing is, let's start planning. Can't we can leave tomorrow? We can't all leave tomorrow. We can't. Some people still gonna want to ride. Some people. Some people be happy to ride. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not trying to come against people that might want to still still be an American, honestly. Because I don't feel like an American, and honestly, I never have. Okay, and I made a video about this the other day. Black men, black women, do not actually know what it feels to be like to be a black man. I'm sorry. A black man and a black woman does not actually know what it feels like to be a man or a woman. Because of the way we're treated in this society, we've never actually been treated. Even We're not being treated like human beings. And this is another example of it with the guy getting beaten down. You see what I mean? When you, when you see that, it, it messes up your brain. It, it, it lets you know, hey, wait a minute, this is not my car. Oh, okay. Oh, it's you don't want the window down, you want the air conditioner on. Oh, this is your shit. Oh, okay. Okay, well, fuck you then, all right? Let me out up here. I'll walk the rest of the way. I'll walk the rest of the goddamn way. And that's the type of nigga I am. And I ain't no nigga, and I don't act like a nigga. But that's the type of nigga that I am. And I know all the people out here that are niggas like that understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm not going to steal, hurt, kill anyone. But I'm that type of nigga that's ready to walk. I'm ready to walk. And I hope y'all feel me out there. Don't forget to... You know, help your brother out. We're, we're moving moving pretty fast. I'm almost at a thousand. So hopefully by this summer, we're going to really turn this thing up where I can go interactive with the videos and everything for you guys. You know what I mean? So I just wanted, wanted to do this video because it's my responsibility to my subscribers. You know what I mean? And, and you know, I'm not saying I have a million, but I, I sure do want a million. And, and I'm going to take care of the little bit that I got so that it can grow. And we can see some some change. I want my I want my page to impart change in people's souls. Yeah, I'm silly sometimes, but ultimately I want this to be a place of refuge, for instance, tonight where someone might be able to come and get a different perspective on what they're seeing on TV tonight. Because it's disturbing. And you know what? You're not going to hear this perspective anywhere on the planet Earth. I'm Ramo Red Track. Have yourself a good night. <laughs>